I'm here with Carol. We're at Foundations Island Yoga, and I thought me and your journey started at the same time. <laughs> so our journey after COVID should start at the same time. Yes. Carol, how have you been? Here we are. Oh <laughs> my gosh, here we are. Yeah. So I think that kind of explains it. We made it through. I mean, I think Carol's done an amazing job keeping the studio open through COVID. Um, I actually went through the teacher training through COVID mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we followed all the necessary protocols to do so. Um, and I think she's just going from one strength to another. And I think this is just a representation of that. You know, it was tough. And I will tell you from the bottom of my heart, there were so many days, weeks and months where I thought we were going to close. I was like, you know, every day was a nail biter. And um, I just thought about it, put a little thinking into it. And I was like, we have, my family has so much history in this area. Um, I was born and raised here. My father was born and raised here. My father's father was born and raised here. Um, in fact, the blue house down at Seabeck was my family's house. And my father was actually born inside of that house down there. Um, so we have a lot of history. And I feel like this studio has become my service to the community. I'm not really sure if that's how it started out or not, but that's what it is now. And now that we have people that come here, we have names and faces, and I think about them and how it's a service to them, and they come in here for really big reasons, mm -hmm. right? For that mental clarity that they can't find anywhere else, for injuries that doctors haven't been able to figure out and they were able to heal and cure in the studio. They come in here for big reasons. So when I think about the names and the faces of the individual students, I realize that this is my service to this town and I do anything to keep the doors open. Well, it's uh, ex exactly as the name implies, it's foundations, right? So when you think about what does foundation mean, it means it's a place where you can reach yourself, where you can ground yourself, and that is what Foundations is about. It's a community, and uh, when you come in here and walk through that door, you, you kind of leave everything else behind, and it is your moment to center yourself and remind yourself what's important in your life. Right before COVID, I had announced my first yoga teacher training, and um, when COVID went on, I thought I was doomed after I announced it and then COVID happened. I was like, nobody's signing up, but it was the opposite. And we actually have proof because behind you, we have someone that took your class, right? We have a couple people <laughs> that are um, have graduated from my last teacher training and that are participating in the current teacher training. I'm about halfway through the training right now, and it's going great. It's changed my life in many ways. So what, what did you want out of the class? I wanted a deeper understanding of yoga and more of a spiritual um, practice into yoga, and it's brought me much more than that. I would say that it's mostly brought me happiness. I feel happy all the time. September, we are doing our third yoga teacher training. And um, I think this one's going to knock it out of the park. It's really hard to explain what goes on in these yoga teacher trainings because, you know, they're based according to whoever puts them on. But when I designed this, I didn't design it for just yoga because we all know that yoga goes so much further beyond your mat. So you're learning the really deep roots of yoga. You're learning integrative nutrition and nobody tells you how to eat. They just guide you towards better way of living. We're actually getting a lot of people signed up for these trainings that want more than just the yoga part of it. We get people with no experience. I had a girl that has never done yoga a day in her life. She signed up for my last year. Yoga she, she must training. have watched our videos then. <laughs> she definitely didn't see you drop me on my head. <laughs> I'm so grateful and so blessed. Like you just can't, I don't know how these things come about. You just can't recreate this if you try. It's just like magic has to come together in its form. And that form happened here at Foundations. And like, thank you so much for that.